Okay, so it's been a while since I've done one of those. Oh, the lighting's not great, but that's better. Mm, much better. Oh, look at these beautiful sunflowers. Mm. Um, so I just wanted to do a little video to show you how I make a, um, a, a lunch on the run or a lunch box per se um, for work or for school. I know people have not really been using their lunches recently, but as things slowly go back to normal, kind of nice to have these little guys in your back pocket just in case you need to use them. So the things that I'm going to be using today and these are also great because you can use them if you're going to be doing um, picnics and platters and stuff like that. Like I've been doing a lot of picnicking. A really good way to see lots of friends while out in an open space and there's, you don't have to worry about pandemics and things like that. So let me show you what we're going to be using today. Okay, two seconds. So these are some of my favorite products. So this is our cooler bag which is, it's made from um, paper actually, like it's a recent recycled repurposed paper um, uh, the fibers are kind of melded together to create this kind of toughened washable paper and then inside it's fully lined so it's got a um, insulated lining so which means you can put ice and things like that in there and it's not gonna um, melt and then also it doesn't leak it doesn't leak so if you want to put like lunches and stuff in there that are a little bit leaky got a bit of a sauce that might you know a bit uh, Use this, it's not going to end up in your backpack or your handbag when you go to work or whatever. Fucking life changing. Next thing is this little cutie, I use this when I make salads and things like that. Really great, I just wash this and then I can leave it in there, drain it off and then it's ready to use for my salad. Um, then I use, these little cuties hold my avocados, they are the perfect size. These are very small avocados, but even if you've got half an avocado, they're perfect. Uh, vegan cheese and stuff is great in these containers as well. It won't go crusty. No one likes that hard gross cheese Otherwise, I also use this one. This is like for more stinkier styles. So that's like a kind of a parmesan style vegan cheese Then I've just got some blueberries which I'll use for a little snack and we've got some other bits and pieces This is where I keep some of my herbs and also my lettuce leaves when I'm storing them in the fridge super handy and then these are our containers that we're going to be using, which are our Monstera containers. They're made from bamboo fiber, and then this is made from a recycled plastic. But they're so good because there's a set of three, and they literally push go inside each other. And then when they're open, you've got a little tower. But when you finish, you can just babushka them back inside each other and they can go straight back into your bag and it's less space. The other really great thing about these is that they fit into our cooler bag, which is how I'm to... Oop. So they fit inside our cooler bag, all three of them are open. Like that. And then you can also probably sneak something down the side there, like I usually put a bottle in there. Not a bottle of water, usually a bottle of wine. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's get on with what we're doing today, which is we're going to be making a little lunch that fits in these three containers because, you know, it's a whole day. We want mm, quite a bit of food, so we're going to shove them all in there. Um, I'm going to do a big salad, um, some like snacky roll up. Uh, lemonade spread things and then also just some fruit and carrot sticks and things like that. That was a snack, little snacky boys. Okay, here we go. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna use my biggest container and I'm gonna make a big old salad boy. So, I've got all these lettuce leaves, so I'm just gonna pop some of those in. And the good thing is, is that these containers are so big that you can use them to make real nice big salads that aren't gonna get squished washed and then to that I'm gonna add um, I've got some cherry tomatoes which are really cute which I might just even pop in whole usually I'd cut them but I feel like when you're on the go you want to minimize mushing and smushing <laughs> as much as possible so they can go in whole Next, I'm going to pop in a handful of cilantro, or coriander as I like to call it, just for a bit of a flavor flav. And then, <clears throat> I'm also going to put in some peppers, or red capsicum, whatever you want to call it, and some cuke. Cute little cuke. 
then this is what I'm going to again because we want to avoid the mushy 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 so I'm gonna put I'm gonna slice up some avocado like so but I'm gonna leave it in the container like that so that it doesn't get all goozy um, over the salad. So, and then to finish off, I'm also gonna put in some, um, I think I'll put in some nuts. Just a handful of whatever nuts you have for a little extra protein. And then I also put in a tiny bit of buckwheat, which gives it a nice bit of crunch. And then some salt and some pepper. And I think that should do. Oh, actually, you know what? I might also put in some pickled pickled radish as well. I pickled this the other day actually, just for a bit of extra colour. Yeah, and that'll do. So, beautiful salad, a little bit of avocado that we're going to mush in later. Um, yeah. So that's ready to go. Pop the lid on there. So that's a nice, it's just easy, it fits in there really nicely. And then, it goes in our cooler like so get going on the next thing okay so next you're probably thinking mm, what about a salad dressing well we're going to make one and we're going to take it separately again smushy business we don't want it all mixed together so what I'm going to use is a little bit of Dijon because that's your emulsifier baby so just like mm, a table, tablespoon, a tablespoon's worth, I reckon. And then next, we're going to add some vinegar, just some apple cider vinegar, just a tiny bit. And then also, I like to add in as a little secret some dukkha. too much and then a tiny bit of olive oil dressing and he can go straight in the bag okay next we're gonna use a flatbread or I've got Lebanese bread you can use whatever you like and we're gonna make some little pinwheel sandwich type situation and just use a little bit of some sort of aioli or like a um, some sort of sauce this is a chipotle 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 aioli from a dibble one of my faves so yummy then I like to add some cheese so just a couple of slices of your favourite vegan cheese. One, two, three, five. Just like that. That can go back. Then I like to put in um, carrots because I think carrots and cheese are good mates. So put in some carrots for crunch. I'm also going to use the rest of this avocado, so I'm going to put some avo in there. Oh, look at that. So we can just place that 
along there, like so, like that. Oh, yummy. I've got these. These are pickled jalapenos that I made the other day. Why buy shop bought when you can just make your own? They're so freaking delish. Obviously, if you're not a spicy girl like me, don't use jalapenos, but I love them. You can use something else instead. They really just give a little bit of a rouge to it. Then again, I'm gonna add some cilantro because I love cilantro. You can use whatever herbs you have, but herbs will just like lift this bad boy. And then I'm also gonna put in say, some leaves, whatever you've got lying around. I just buy a mixed bag every week. Salt and pepper, obviously. And then I'm also going to put a tiny bit of mustard in there as well. Because I'm crazy like that. Mustard. A little bit of sriracha as well. And then what you want to do is, I use a knife for this, so it holds everything in. But Do it nice and tight, roll him up. Just like so, there you go. And then he's going in the middle container. So I think what I might do is cut it into half and then into half again. Just like that. Oh, we lost some insides. Back in, and then I'll just do. Oh, they might not fit. Might need to do them in half again. And then just squeeze them in there like that. little dude and he can also go in with the rest of the stuff in the cooler so the last uh, section is going to be sweet kind of fruity bits so I've just got some ro uh, roses I've got some strawberries so I'm just gonna sneak those in this is the smallest container obviously I've then got some blueberries which I'm just gonna pop in there just like that I then also have some uh, pomegranate, which I'm going to pop in the seeds of, just like that. They're messy, so just be careful. Cool, that'll do. Pomegranate is a real stainy, stainy girl. And then I also have some lime, so I'm also gonna pop some fresh lime in with it. Just like that. And then that's it, that's what we got. That's our little snacky, fruity vibe. There. And that goes in as well. So let's check back in and see what we've actually got. So we've got into the cooler. It's all stacked up in there, you can see. Not very well. All right, so here's what we ended up with. We've got our salad, yum. We've got our fruit with a bit of fresh lime. And then we've got our little sandwiches. Yummy, don't they look delish? Thank you. And then obviously in here we've got the dressing. Like so. Like so, like that. And that's going to shake up as you're bloody walking around, isn't it? So, what we do, put everything back together. And then, 
and put it all in the cooler. Okay, so there we've got salad in there and the cooler boy salad. There we go. And then we'll put the little pinwheels in and then the fruit and then the sauce can go on top just like that. And then, depending how many people you want to share it with, um, I take some cutlery with me. So I've got I think I'll take two because I think um, I might be sharing this with my friend today. So I'll take two sets of that. They can go down the side. And then all you want to do is just fold it over like so. Like that. And he's good to go. That's your lunch. Ready. Ready to go and enjoy. So there you go. That's it. It's ready to go. So that's how I make my little lunch on the go, Ooh, there we go, um, easy peasy, it's going to keep it nice and safe, cool, you can put a cooler um, block in there if you want to, sometimes I freeze our 500ml zips with a bit of water in it and that makes a nice ice block, but yeah, that'll taste nice and fresh throughout the day and you've got lots of food there and it's not going to leak, so yeah, enjoy, peace! <laughs>